Hey everyone, this is a tutorial for parents on how to get started with Seesaw. So the first thing that I would do as a parent is I would go ahead and if you're using a mobile device to go ahead and download two different apps. The first app you're going to download is the Seesaw Family app and the second app you need to download is the Seesaw Class app. So if I go to my app store and I type in Seesaw Family app you will download the one that looks like this, Seesaw Parent and Family, and then you would also download the Seesaw The Learning Journal. The difference between these two apps is that the first app, the Family app, is for parents. So this is where you are able to see what your child is posting on their journal, and this is also where you will receive direct messages from a child's teacher with information about the class. The second app is the Seesaw Class app. This is where your child will do all of their work to show to their teacher um, as we are learning digitally. So again, the two differences is that the Seesaw Family app is for parents and the Seesaw Class app is for the child. So make sure you download both of those apps. From there, uh, for families to get logged into their Seesaw Family app, um, the classroom teacher will need to invite you to the class or send you information on how to get started. So for my example, I, the teacher, have sent a message to um, the parent inviting them to their child's Seesaw Class app. So the parent should receive a message within their email inbox or through text message to join. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the message and then they need to accept this invite and view the journal. So they click on that link. If you have not already created a family account, this is a great opportunity to do so. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, then you can go ahead and sign up with Google or you can sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my uh, Gmail account. And so from here, you are able to see some of your child's work. So because I'm using this as an example, and this is a great example for those parents who have multiple kids uh, who are using Seesaw, if I click this little book, it shows the the different classes that I'm a part of. Um, and so Allison could be one of my children and Brandon could be my other child. And so if I click on Brandon, which was the journal that I just added, I can go and I can look to see what all has been posted on his journal. So again, if you have multiple kids, you can add all of those kids uh, into your one family Seesaw account. If I get any messages from teachers, uh, this is where you would locate that information so that you can read what messages your teachers have sent um, to you as the parent. So for the child, it's a little bit different to log in. So your child will actually log in using the Seesaw Class app. And then they are going to choose, I'm a student. So they might have a, a QR code that they type in, or they might be receiving a home learning code that is sent directly from the teacher. So I'm going to type in that 12 letter code um, right where it says text code. So this is again, just an example. Now, as a student, I am in my classroom. So I can see all of the work that I've done in the past. Um, if I have an activity that's assigned to me, I go down to activities. It shows that I have 11 activities that I need to complete. So you need to make sure you read all of the directions. And then to complete an activity, you just click add. 
and from here I can read the instructions and um, if there's anything I need to write on the screen I can use the drawing tools to write or you can also use the text box to um, type in your response as well if you wanted to record your voice you would click this microphone if you wanted to add a picture you could do that from here if you wanted to add some shapes uh, maybe that's what the activity is asking you to do. You could use the um, the shapes option. And then right here on the right hand side, you can see that there are several other slides. So that means for each of these activities, I need to uh, click on that slide and then I need to um, answer the question. So this one says sort by the roll. So shapes that can roll. So this triangular prism and again, I'm a, on a phone, so it might be a little bit harder for your kids to manipulate if they are just using a phone. I'd recommend uh, like a larger tablet or a computer or a Chromebook. So with this item, it can roll. So I would just move each of these shapes into the correct category. And I would do that for each of these slides depending on uh, what the rule is or what the directions is telling me. Once I'm finished with all eight slides, I would hit this green check mark and then it would be submitted to my teacher for her to evaluate and give me feedback. So this is how you are able as a student to complete the ac different activities is to actually go down to where it says activities. Again, if you're on a different tablet, if you're on a Kindle or if you're on the computer, it will look a little bit different because I'm using my iPhone. If the teacher has sent the students a class announcement, um, this is where it would be located in the inbox. Uh, if there are any notifications that were sent, that's where you would find that as well. Um, but the main areas that your child will be concerned with will be their journal, where they are able to add photos, drawings, videos, uploads, uh, write a note or a link. They will need to make sure they check their activities every single day and then to respond to their activity they just need to click add and then they will also need to be checking their inbox to see if there are any message directly from their teachers. So that was just a really quick overview on how you can get started with Seesaw. If you have any questions just let me know.